Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Room Upgrade. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and working with you to make your game nights better. All right, so what is a room upgrade? Well, at the Tabletop Bellhop, we like to talk about things in the um, style of it. So we have a hotel, right? The, the whole Bellhop theme. Well, one of the things I want to do is I want to take my copy of Clans of Caledonia, which you see right here. It's my own personal game and I want to give it an upgrade uh, right now it's it's kind of a mess and what I have here which there's not a lot to show here because it just looks like a flat pack because that's what it is is the folded space clan v2 box insert for clans of Caledonia so what I'm going to be doing is converting what I have in here building this insert and then putting it in so what we're going to do first before I get into actually building is let's take a look at how I currently have clans of Caledonia organized so what I have in here is I have the rules on top then I just have baggies so I've got bags full of these tiles the, these are the, the goods tiles that you're going to ship every round. I have in a bag. I don't think the game came with the bag. No. We use these. So instead of making a stack of these and randomizing them, we just pull them from, from a bag. So this is probably not going to fit. Then I have the various player pieces, including like the tool upgrade tokens and everything, each in their individual bag. So we have the different player colors here, each in their own bag. Then I've got the port tiles in, a, in their own zip, Ziploc bag. The, the multiple good tokens and the starting good tokens in here, the currency in here, the goods all in one bag, the clan tiles in a bag, the shields in a bag, the extra boxes, I didn't bag, they're just loose. Some of the dice are just loose. Score pad, loose. The upgraded uh, replacement board for the one clan, I forget which clan it is, that replaces here, loose. We've got the clear tokens for marking the, the, um, the stock market are here in a baggie. Player boards, uh, reference cards, game boards, market, uh, whatever you want to call this, the, the score, the, the honor tracker, and then the rules in other languages on the bottom. So that's how we have everything now. So I'm going to put everything back in here because we're not going to have to look at this till the end. And we'll see how much better organized this gets. Now, I will admit this isn't terrible. When I play and when I set up, like these aren't used every game. That's why they're in here loose. Scorebook doesn't really matter. These are easy enough to pull out. Shuffling these, like it's just a matter of like give every player a baggie and have them like, here, take these and shuffle them. Okay, now we're going to put some face up. Take these and throw them in a wooden bowl. Take all your player pieces in one place. That's a nice touch, but they're not really organized. You'll have to sort them. Um, these again, same type of thing, right? Just shuffle them up at the beginning. I give this to a player. I say, open this up, shuffle those, pick one. Uh, these I just dump in a wooden bowl and everyone picks through to get what they want. It would be nice if they were separated. Money, same thing. I just put it in a wooden bowl. It works. It's just not great. Obviously, I didn't like the, the original idea of stacking these, so I threw in a bag. Dice are just sitting loose. The fact there's loose stuff in here is so-so. And while well, rules on top works, that's fine. So there you go. That's how I currently have my clans of Caledonia organized. So here we have the instructions. We're going to get rid of the packaging because we don't need that anymore. That is completely useless. We're going to take a quick look at the instructions. So this is the finished result. Here is the front. Here's the assembly instructions. We've got multiple steps here. Uh, there were three sheets, two identical sheets plus one different sheet. Um, the trays are put in two layers in the original game box. PVA glue is required. Make sure you dry assemble and so on. Uh, works with both editions of the game. That's good to know. Uh, so we have two sheet A's and a sheet B. So that's what we should have. Okay, this is obviously an A looking at the pictures, and this is B. Though like I said I don't, I'm sure that's here somewhere on these, but I'm not seeing it. Fair enough, it doesn't really matter for that. So I am just gonna try to keep these two sheets separate from this other sheet. So where I'm gonna put these all over here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put B facing that way. So we are gonna look at what we need each step here. So tray one, A, B, C, and D. So we have four identical trays. I have a feeling this is probably gonna be for the main components are using sheet A 
one in a two. So we're gonna put this one aside. We're gonna take sheet one, a one, and a two. So these are coming apart pretty easy, which is always nice. Then we're gonna put this sheet aside and do a one and a two here. Okay, so pretty simple looking sheets so far. Okay, so I also need here and here and here and here. So what we do like to start with here is a dry run. So these are pretty simple to build. And we're gonna repeat that four times. I will say these folded space inserts are so easy to build compared to many of the wooden ones on the market. Plus they're uh, much more reasonably priced. So now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna glue it first. So I'm gonna do one at a time. I'll put these off to the side here and we're gonna do one at a time. Now this is using a method of gluing that is explained on their website to give you the quickest way to do these as possible, which involves putting strips of glue in straight lines going across all of the tabs. So I'm just using some standard white glue here, making sure I get some out, and then I'm just gonna go in a straight line all the way down, touching every tab. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, but going across. Then I also need one row across here. And we're just gonna tip everything up. Then we're gonna make sure everything's square. Then the last step is to remove any excess glue, especially on the insides. And what I use for that is a hobby knife and I just run it along and get any puddles out of the corners or sticking off the edges here. Your fingers also work pretty good for this. All right, we're gonna repeat that three more times. Last one. All right, there we have four identical trays. Step two is tray two A and B. So this is one. It might look like I'm fighting with these, but not really. Just kind of wiggling them a bit and they pop right off. Okay. Now we always start with the dry fit. And we're gonna do that twice. That is gonna be our next couple trays. Next to glue them, same format as before. Now you could do both of these at once. Um, I probably would if I was working at a work desk instead of my uh, my computer, my office desk here. Uh, Cause then I could just do one long strip of glue to get all of them. So again, what we're doing is going tab to tab in a grid to make sure everything that's gonna to be touching will be glued. Nice and simple and quick and way easier than trying to glue all the edges of everything. Now what I did get here is a bit of excess glue. So I'm just gonna be messy and use my fingers to get that off. And I got some Kleenex or whatever to wipe that off on. Now I did get a little bit of a pool in one corner here. I'm just gonna use an X-Acto to spread that out a little bit so it'll dry a little even, a little more even and quickly. So I'm just getting rid of the, the pools of glue in the corners. All right, repeat one more time. Again, not difficult at all. No one should be intimidated by a folded space insert. All right, trays two, done. On to the next one. 
All right, this is the most complicated looking tray. Tray three, variant A. Okay, so I need to know how wide my player boards are. 10 centimeter or 13 centimeter wide player boards. So I have 13 centimeter wide player boards. For 13 centimeter wide player boards, we need this unique tray. We need this top. And then I need these. So the dry fit on this one is definitely going to be more important than most. So we have this, and this, and these. Wow, okay. This is an interesting tray. Okay, this is definitely one of the more unique shapes I've ever built from Folded Space. So I did mention that these are easy to build. Well, this would be the most complicated piece I think I've ever built from Folded Space. Wait, this, oh, see it has a peg at the bottom. So that obviously goes down at the end. See, perfect. Live and learn. Try run for the win. All right, this is what we're building. Very uniquely shaped piece here. All right, we're just gonna do those separate. This one's gonna be nice and easy to grid though. Okay, I noticed a mistake I made right there. So I was doing the straight line. I shouldn't have actually touched the glue in here. So even with the dry fit, I did miss that no glue went along that one strip. It's not gonna be a killer or anything, but I did miss one. So the taller end goes at the back. Yeah, this is this particular piece is by far the most complicated piece I've ever built on a folded space insert. I should have realized when I was lining things up that I wouldn't need it in those little patches there. Easy enough to fix. That's the one nice thing about working with white glue is until it sets, um, it's very malleable, easy to remove. I gotta say this is, um, now that it's built, it's very sturdy, very chunky compared to uh, what it felt like when I was doing the dry run. So I do have a bit of excess in here. We're gonna clean a bit of that up again, just spreading it out so it dries a little quicker. There we have the next piece. We are on to page two, because that was two different variations, and I hope I picked the right one. Okay, now we're on tray 4A. We're gonna slide this up out of the way. This is using sheet A1, sheet A2. Okay, so we are now on tray 4A. So that's what we're building right now. Four A. Now four B basically uses the leftover parts we didn't take the first time. So I am taking the other parts of this. So this is a very similar to the last box, just no mid divider. Done. Two trays left, tray five and six. Did I miss something? Nope, because these are going here. All right, so this is gonna be one that's got like a spot for your fingers to get in there to like pick up cards or something, right? So, so once we dry run this, you'll see it. Yes, a way to hold and pick up hobbit sized cards. Ha, because I was holding it sideways. Again, there, right there, that's why we dry run. Again, extra glue isn't gonna hurt anything here. As long as you wait for it all to dry before you put your cards in here. A little extra glue is just gonna make it probably more stable. Okay, so there are some pieces left on here. That's for the other variant. So we're gonna keep those there just in case when I go to put this together, it doesn't work out because I, I mismeasured something. 
pretty sure I did okay this time. This is going to be it. Last one. So total build time is under half an hour here, uh, not counting drying time. Because I did a little intro in here. I'm going to say like 25 minutes for the full build, which is actually really good. 25 minutes to be able to improve a copy of any of your games. Oh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of box inserts. Anything that will get your game to the table more often is generally worth buying. I love Clans of Caledonia, but there is a bit of setup, and it's kind of annoying to divvy everything out and pass everything out and get it going. If this means it's going to be quicker to set up, which then will mean, hey, let's play Clans of Caledonia happens more often, then it was totally worth it for me to get this insert. Now, in this case, I do have to thank Folded Space for providing me with a review copy of this insert, so I, I admit I didn't pay for this one, but it's extremely reasonably priced at uh, 1550 euros, uh, which, you know, under 30 bucks Canadian. To be able to get my game to the table more often, is definitely worth it for me for any game I greatly enjoy. So I did get filthy here. I do have glue all over my fingers, which I'm just kind of scraping some of that off. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'll hold up each of these so you can see them, but I need the glue to dry before I want to put my components in them. And I do, before I go, want to put all the components from my copy of the game into this insert and see how everything fits in the box and see if it really does improve setup and put tear down. So what we have is four of the same tray here that all look identical. I'm just double checking any of the fit here or anything. Everything looks good. So four identical trays here. So four of those. Two trays divided like this with um, three equal size compartments and one smaller. These are mostly dry, but not quite. We've got this very interesting looking one, which I'm not sure what we're gonna put in here, but that's a, it's an interesting tray. There's no lip in the front. Then two equally sized trays, but one that has a divider in the middle. And then finally, something that usually you're gonna put cards in, in the style and something else to hold things. So now the part I don't wanna do, cause it's definitely easier to actually look online for how to assemble these. So those are for the export contracts. Then you're gonna have, let me look. So we got, this is gonna go here. Then you have it's gonna be hard to tell without the actual components to put them in them. So this is for the clans. It's basically, I uh, have too much stuff in the way. Basically gonna go here. Then we have to this small box here. It's gonna go on this side. And then a large tray for the coins. It's gonna go here. Yeah, those match up. Uh, then we have a small tray for smaller coins here. So that's one part of the box. Then, you got these layered on this way. Now I am not quite seeing, no. Okay, so two of these here with these. There we go. And then another layer of this. So same deal. Two of these here with this. And then the player boards, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, do they fit? Yes, they fit. That is where these are gonna go. Remember, we had to measure to make sure I had the right size for my copy of the game. That is going to be the end result. Like I said, unfortunately, right now, we did have one pop apart. I obviously didn't have enough glue on this one. So this will be the end result. Okay, we're going to start one component at a time. So we have the shields. The shields for scoring. Tell you what you're going to score every round. Go in here. With them, go with the little dice, but I don't know where those are. So right now, we're just putting the shields in here. Next, we have these. Where do they show these going? So all of the extra resource things go in here. That I can be being semi-effective during play. 
You'd still be fishing through these, but at least they're all in one spot. Okay, where did they show start of game bonus tiles? Okay, so these go in this end. These are the starter game, starting resource tiles. Randomized at the start of the game and never used again. Those all fit? Yep, fit great. One baggie gone. Okay, resources. These get split up 50-50 between here and here. Uh, it's a tight fit, but you know what? That's all of them, so we're good. Uh, whiskey doesn't really matter, I don't think, here. And then, in the small one, the bread. One set of resources. Excellently, I can just throw this out on the table. People can grab whatever they need while they're playing. Appreciate that. Then we have green. Milk. Cheese. Oh, don't shake them that much. You lose your other tokens. There we go. Right, that's nice. Not a, that snug a fit. I dig it. There's the rest of the resources. That is a big baggie gone. And a lot less sorting to do the next time I sit down to play this game. All right, this one, I'm not sure on. Um, so what I'm doing with these is putting them in here instead. And part of me is just like, but I like my system. As long as you shuffle these every game, I guess it's fine. Oddly, they made the center just a little wider, and I don't think there's any reason for that. So, yeah, here's all our contract tiles. Money gets split over these, I think. So what they did here is they put the tens in here and the ones and fives in the other spot. That's okay. It's not great. I would have preferred had the money been split up. So the ones and fives were separate as well. But this is still better than one big bowl with all the money in it. Another baggie, gone. Clan tiles. Go right in here. No, fits nice. Baggy, gone. Water tiles. Can you guess where they're going? Water and industry tiles. Done. Baggy, gone. Little wooden glass tracker pieces. Not the best storage solution, but they go in with these. But you know what? You use those drinks set up. Baggy, gone. Dice. Has a spot now. Better than my original. Finally, what we have left is the player pieces. So what's in the top? People? It looks like just the people. And like the tracking tokens and the chits. So they show these kind of stacked in one corner. And then all the, the farmers. This honestly isn't all that much better than my plastic baggie method I was already using. Okay, it works. So here is the stuff for white. This needs to be repeated for four more colors. Now, there's everything. Let's actually rebuild this box. Starting with this goes here. Then put this kind of in the middle. This money here. This on this side. This on this side. Then we pick two player colors with some goods. Two more player colors with some goods. Player boards, two, three, four. Nest right in there. They do too, nice. Then the rest of the stuff. Um, based on size, I think I'm gonna throw my instructions next. Then 
We got the four player boards and this market board. So yeah, don't like that there was no spot for these at all. Um, other market board. Then we're gonna throw these over here. These around this edge. It's just that's just kind of ugly. Uh, there was no place for these either. The summary or the score sheet. So we're just gonna put them loose. And the boards. They don't need to line up. That doesn't quite fit flat. Doesn't look like. No, no, it did. It fit. Oh, it's it's super close. So just a little tiny bit of box lift. Just a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Not a lot. So there you have my new and improved copy of Clans of Caledonia with its new box insert. We have given it successfully gotten a room upgrade for my copy of Clans of Caledonia. One of my favorite Euro games. A great economic game about um, beer and Scotsman and sheep and milk and cheese and uh, improving your clan. Uh, a fantastic game that now is going to hopefully get played even more often. Thank you very much for joining me for this Tabletop Bellhop Room Upgrade where we built the Folded Space FS Clan V2 box insert for Clans of Caledonia. This is the second version of the insert that actually includes uh, variations, options to build two different sizes based on if you have the first or second printing of the game. So with my copy, I do have some dividers left because we had the, I think it was 33 centimeter version or 13 centimeter version of the player boards. I guess there's a bigger board to so use different inserts. Fair enough. I uh, went together pretty easy. Total build time was probably about 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes at the tops. Um, I'm impressed. It looks good. Uh, my game looks better. It's better organized. There were a couple little things I would have liked. I would have liked somewhere to put the score pad. I would have liked somewhere to put in the extra clan boards that go on top of things. I'm not sure exactly how they could have done that. Maybe some notches in the existing one so they could have like nested in a corner or something. Other than that, though, very happy overall. Great insert. Very reasonably priced. Folded space. I'm always impressed by. Nice, easy build. The most complicated one was the, the one board to hold the different contracts. Uh, that took a little bit more work than usual but nothing compared to some of the more complicated inserts out there uh you can't go wrong with the weight ease of use and price of folded space so thank you folded space for sending me a copy of this to uh to review and to check out and i gotta say it's a thumbs up greatly like the folded space clan v2 insert my thoughts on the clans of caledonia i hope you enjoyed joining me for this build you can find me all over the internet as tabletop bellhop one word please visit the tabletop bellhop web page at tabletopbellhop.com to find other gaming content, including a couple other insert builds, uh, some that didn't go as smooth as this. Uh, if you liked this show tonight, it'd be awesome if you hit the subscribe button and ding that bell to get notified, or you can head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and support our show there, as well as getting access to awesome patron-only content. For the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, I am Mo Tuzano. I'm done for the day. I got glue everywhere. It's time for me to go clean up. Good day and game on.